So the first thing that I'm looking for in an assessment is positioning of the knees and the hips just in a resting position. Uh, Ryan's knees are kind of tucked next to his abdomen there, which is a great thing. It's, uh, uh, it shows that in utero the packaging that he would have had would have been pretty close to his body. And that's the first task of, uh, of a baby to develop their, their strength through the extensors is to overcome the hip flexion contraction that they develop in utero in those last couple weeks of, uh, of pregnancy. So he's doing a great job just kind of kicking his legs straight down and that's him using his glutes to, to perform that movement but that's against resistance because of the contraction that would be in his hips. So if we were to check his hips in terms of uh, integrity of the joints, just kind of bicycle the legs around, see if there's any resistance, see if there's any unusual clicking, see if there's any unusual shifting, any signs of pain even. I'm, I don't know if I doubt he's in any pain right now, just because he's a little fussy, but that's okay. Uh, check the, the hamstrings, seeing how kind of uh, length we have there on both sides, seeing what rotation there is in the hips. Sorry, Paul. to rest here. <laughs>